Have you been told to eat the Mediterranean diet by a doctor or a nutritionist, but you're not really sure why? In this second video of our three-part series, I'm going to be walking you through my three most crucial things to know about a very important research study on the Mediterranean diet and lifestyle that was recently published. Hey there, I'm Dr. Anna. I'm a medical doctor. I was trained in Italy, and this channel is all about helping you master the Mediterranean diet. So in our last video, I walked you through through my first key takeaway from this very important research study, which is linked in the description below. So check it out if you wanna read the original article. And we talked about the thing the researchers found from their assessment of more than 110,000 people from the UK and how closely they followed along the Mediterranean diet or Mediterranean lifestyle practices and how much of a health benefit they got. And what the researchers were specifically looking for was what was the impact of following along the Mediterranean diet and lifestyle with somebody's risk for death from any cause, which is called all-cause mortality, or somebody's risk of death from cancer or cardiovascular disease. Now, here's my second crucial takeaway so you can better understand why the Mediterranean diet packs so much healthy punch. Now, as I talked about in that first video, which I recommend you check out over here if you missed it. You definitely don't wanna miss the first video because it's going to make this one make a lot more sense. So I do recommend jumping over there and watching that one first. We talked about the MedLife score, which is a scoring system that is used often in research to tally up all of the components of a Mediterranean diet and dietary approaches and lifestyle practices. And it gives somebody a score with how many of the things they're doing. So it talks about the individual foods that are broken down, meaning how many fruits and vegetables somebody is generally eating, how much meat, how much dairy, how much salt, how much alcohol, and then the lifestyle practices. Are they smoker? How much sleep are they generally getting? How much exercise? Do they take naps? And even things like socializing. Are they engaging in social activities? When it comes to the MedLife score, what the researchers in this study were able to demonstrate or they were able to show was that the real benefit to our health might come from the diet and the approach to life overall, meaning an overall higher MedLife score showed more benefit. But then they also zoomed in on some of the individual components. Okay, so if somebody overall has a higher MedLife score, meaning they're following along with all of the dietary recommendations and they're engaging in very healthy behaviors most of the time, maybe there are certain specific ones that are actually giving more of the benefit. What was interesting is that when they zoomed in on one component at a time, the statistical relationship, in other words, the benefit was not always visible. It didn't work out that way statistically. And whenever it comes to research, we're always wanting to know how do things work out statistically? Because that is what science is. So for example, the researchers in this study tried to understand is it how many nuts somebody is eating that are giving them a benefit? Is it how many naps they're taking that are giving them the benefit? And the author's conclusion was that it didn't necessarily matter which of the things that someone is doing, it's just about how much of the things that they are doing overall. And it's kind of this cumulative effect. Are you following what I'm saying? It's not necessarily important which things you're following as long as you're trying to follow as many healthy practices and as many healthy dietary components as you can. But hear this, the one thing that was very clear from this research study, the more someone is doing following along with the Mediterranean diet and lifestyle, the more health benefit they are getting. The data is telling us this time and time again, and there's been so many other studies that have showed this, but this research study is brand new. The take home message here that I want you to understand is that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So what that means is, when you are overall following as healthy of a lifestyle and as healthy of a diet as you can with plenty of wiggle room, if you can't always make it on the mark, that is the goal. And that is probably the best thing that you can do for your health overall is to think of things in a very large perspective over a long period of time. So if somebody is following this diet, let's say they're 25 years old and they're following the Mediterranean diet for six months, that's not necessarily going to help us understand if 60 years away, they're gonna die a little bit earlier. So you have to think of these things in a really long trajectory to really understand the benefits overall. 
Now, if you're finding this video useful so far, I want you to subscribe and click the bell notification on because I don't want you to miss any important information that could benefit you for adopting the Mediterranean lifestyle and diet today. So a couple of things to remember. It is not as important which things you are doing in terms of healthy lifestyle and practices. Whatever it is, the more often you can engage in healthy behaviors, likely the more benefit there is going to be in the long run. That seems to be what's going on. And furthermore, if you know that you can make some healthy choices when it comes to your diet or your lifestyle, but you're still working on some other ones, that is okay. Just remember to do the best that you can. So it's important to remind ourselves not to get too hard on ourselves and to just stay encouraged and motivated to keep getting up the next day and trying again. It's time for us to dive into the third crucial takeaway from this very important research study about the Mediterranean diet and lifestyle. So go ahead, click that video and I'll see you over there.